Hi, I'm Tyson. And I'm Callie. And we're with Ag Aviation Adventures. Now this evening, what we have planned is swap the airplane over from liquid to dry. And what I mean by that is that right now it has booms on it, the pump, all the spray gear so that we could go out and spray like we've been doing all summer. But tomorrow we have some cover crop to spread, some turnip, radish, and rye. So we need to put the spreader on the airplane. Now, if you're not familiar with cover crop, I have done a video on it. So be sure to check that out if you're curious. This is probably gonna take an hour or an hour and a half. I hope that's all it takes. We're gonna get a lot of comments on this video because there are people that do this all the time like several times a day we do not do it very often so we're going to be slow we do not have a good system down no i'm sure there's going to be a lot of comments about that it usually takes people that do it multiple times a day probably less than 15 minutes yeah. but we haven't even put this thing on in the last couple seasons because we haven't needed to so just a little bit different for us but like I said, hopefully it goes quick. So first thing we're gonna do is take the booms off and all the spray gear. Now this stuff is all mounted with quick connects and cam locks and that kind of stuff. So it shouldn't take that long, but we'll see. So I'm also starting a timer just out of curiosity to see how long this takes us. And it's gonna take us longer also because we're filming. That's just how it happens. But before Tyson parked the plane here, we rinsed it out with water. So there's no chemical in the booms or in the spray system at all. So right now we're gonna open this filter and go ahead and take the filter out and let the water drain out. Cool, okay. This is the boom hanger. These are the booms. They're held on with these hose clamps. So we're just loosening those hose clamps so the boom is free. Should pretty much be ready to come off. Let's see. It probably can't hear you when you What we're doing right now is just getting the center section off. This is what has a lot of different lines and a couple electrical connections going to it. So we've disconnected all those. Just about to drop it here. Typical Tyson giving me the happy side. I kind of always do give her the heavy side of things. All right, all the booms are off. Now for the spray pump and some gear under there. Callie, what's our time? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay. But we still have a lot to do to get the spreader on. All right, this was the last of the heavy lifting until we have to get the spreader on. We're just about finished tidying all this up. We're just zip tying up some things, putting bolts back on. Almost time for the spreader. What are you doing? Right now, I'm just adjusting the gate. So this is our gate box right here. And to spread, I'm gonna push a handle forward. This is going to open up and seed is gonna drop down into the spreader when it's hanging here. When we have liquid in here, this whole seal is pretty tight up there. So opening it and closing it all day, which you don't do when you're doing liquid, would be very difficult doing dry. So I'm just loosening the gate a little bit so that I can easily open and close it 
for the dry work. And then when we switch it back to liquid, I'm gonna tighten it back up again. We're ready for the spreader. Everything's capped, all the wires have been zip tied. Now we have this sitting on a transmission jack so that we can just wheel it underneath and then jack it up a little bit and hopefully it'll kind of go into place like I'm thinking. But we don't really know. Better to do it from the other side. I don't think it goes in like this. I think we need to go behind the wheels and then go forward with it. Bunch of amateurs. You can see that it's probably a little bit darker than it was on our last update. Well, we have been struggling with this for probably an hour. And we finally got it figured out. I made a couple phone calls to someone. We didn't someone. figure anything out. Someone else. Yeah, no, someone else that. with a phone call figured it out. I was getting mixed advice from text messages and photos. The problem that we were having was trying to mount this bracket to this bracket and I was very confused at how that all happened because nothing was lining up but I'm supposed to leave an eye bolt in there and then it all lines up I guess but I have to take a couple other things apart so we're gonna do that Callie's already the internet, you were Callie's already me. working on it and uh, We'll get this. We'll get this done tonight. He seems happy, hey, how but far he's not... into this are we, Callie? Two hours and eleven minutes. Two hours and eleven minutes. By two hours and thirty minutes, we'll be done. So, this is the culprit. This was attached to this, and it made this not line up to anything. But if we put this eye bolt back into here, then I guess that it will line up with this bracket that's what they say that turned into a little bit of a nightmare two hours 30 minutes and six seconds <laughs> that was not good at all so we were talking about this as we were putting this on and finishing this up the last time that I actually spread was two years ago but when I did the spreader was already on the airplane the last time I actually put one on was probably four or five years ago and it did not mount quite like this one with that eye bolt that wasn't a thing that's why it took us so long that's i mean that literally took over an hour of trying to figure out how it was supposed to match up and this spreader has never been on this airplane and i thought there's a possibility maybe that this bracket's made specifically for another airplane that we have and anyways like i said multiple photo text messages and phone calls later we got it figured out so tomorrow, we're going spreading. Who would have thought that we would save this for the very last minute? If you guys have any questions, don't ask us because we don't know. But we can maybe try to answer them in the comments section below. We appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about any of this, the spreading, anything, feel free to ask them. I'm Tyson. And I'm Callie. With Ag Aviation Adventures. Also, check out our website, www.agaviationadventures.com, and find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, Ag Aviation Adventures. That's a lot of outlets for you guys to find us. If you don't feel like you have enough of these videos, Callie is always doing stuff on all of those other platforms. Fly low and fly fast.